I am in a eighth month's relationship. How do I ask for what I need in a feminine energy without entering in masculine energy? Should I wait for him to offer and do things if he wants to? Well, you know, the whole feminine energy thing means that you're kind of, you're in a space of receiving, you're in a space of inviting, right? So you can invite a guy to do things with you. You can invite him to help you. You can invite him to do all kinds of things with you and for you and all that kind of stuff. As long as you're coming from a really secure, like feeling strong and secure and confident and... Uh, you know, a place of being in feminine energy and and just inviting it, it uh, that's not a big deal as long as you're not attached to any kind of expectations or making him do anything. It's really not a big deal if you if you do that kind of stuff. You can wait for him to offer, but what you can also do is frame things in a way that you find attractive. I talk all about this in my Love Frames toolkit. If you want to check that out, I think there's a description in the link below and the, there's a link in the description below if you want to check that out about exactly how to do that and frame it in the right way. I'm also going to be talking about that in the Forever Woman program. But yeah, basically what you want to do is just, you know, tell them what's attractive to you and what's not attractive to you and what you like and what you love and things that you enjoy. And it's re real easy if you're doing it that way. And it's a normal conversation. It's not something like weird. You know, it's not something, you know, sketchy. You're just talking about things that you like and things that you love and things that you enjoy and things that make you feel good, things that make you feel bad or feel unattractive. 